Hey guys, what's up? It's J Dogs here, and yeah, we've got another J Dogs vlogs going on. Uh, this is my series where I just talk about things going on with me and, and daily life, some things I wanted to cover, and yeah, today we have a little little uh, clip for you that you guys have been asking for. You guys have no clue how I use um, the keyboard and everything in order to. Um, play games and, and things everybody says oh well, you, you know I don't know how you got how you use that and just not use uh, WASD uh, for me that drives me nuts my hands are very large as you can see um, and so for for me to have my hand around um, so many keys at one time my fingers tend to hit a lot of different keys at the same time so that's part of that and I have a little bit of clip to show you guys so I'm gonna show you guys that right now and then we'll be right back to talk about a few more things so be right back guys all right, guys. So this is my little test for you guys to show you how I actually use um, my mouse and keyboard and, and everything. You guys are always wondering how I play uh, with the arrow keys here, as you can see. And I use this for the sprint key, which is the zero insert key uh, on the numpad. And you know, enter space bars over here. Uh, the I key is here, which is I use for inventory and things like that so this is kind of how I play here's my hand on the mouse right here and I'm gonna do a quick game of some uh, survival games just to kinda of show you guys how I do it so you can see I just kinda of tap my finger over here let's choose our kit gotta itch my nose I've got my little earbuds going on over here and yeah let's see uh, usually go east here so we'll head that direction. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd just show you guys actual gameplay of me playing um, Minecraft and how I use the arrow keys and why I, it drives me bonkers to use the WASD keys. Uh, basically, it's not easy for me. As you can see, I've got my hand stretched over my pinkies on the space bar so I can easily jump and go across here. My finger can still hit over here to the sprint key so that I don't... Uh, stop sprinting and that's pretty much how I do it I mean there's not too much to it for me hopefully I can sync the video up to where you guys can see both at the same time um, oh somebody got killed and I probably won't do the whole thing here but I, I can kinda show you guys um, how I do this let's go over this way see what we get uh, boom 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 and with my mouse I also have a small button right here on the side that allows me to um, switch to my one key as you can see there let's get that like that nice decent amount of gear got hung up there let's get up the stairs here wow that dude is killing all kinds of people I have a feeling we are going to die to him <laughs> all right uh, we've got boots, but I'll st steal those anyways. And this is just the way that I've gotten used to playing... Oh, nice. Stone sword. And that's the reason that I play this way. It's just... I'm used to this. So... Um... I don't know. You guys have kind of been asking for a while now to see how I play, so... This is just kind of my little video to show you guys. Oh, there we go. We'll take that. And I know I tend to be kind of slow getting stuff out of the chest. That's just kind of my thing. Usually I shift click things out of the chest or just, you know, pick them up and put them in. Um, let's get across here, check our back. Come on, open. There we go. Take that one so nobody else can take it. Get those and get the bow. Put those down and sprint off. Let's see. Ooh, arrows. Good, good, good. And we have a pig spawn egg. Oh, well, that was pointless for me. Why am I not running? Something's wrong with my run. All right, let's jump down this way. Again, take that so nobody else can. 
I'm probably going to die a horrible death here. Uh, Alright, so now we have enough to enchant our sword. Let's head out this way. Oh, how come? Okay, there we go. And I've tried and tried and tried playing the other ways. And, oh, let's get those sticks. I just can't seem to play with the WASD keys. You guys have seen me trying to play Dead Space using the WASD, and it's just not my cup of tea. I can't really um, do it very well. So I'm going to probably try to wrap this up fairly quickly. I might do a little bit of editing on this to where I don't show the whole thing, uh, mainly because it's just me showing you guys my keyboard and stuff and how I play. Um, normally when I set up things for like shooter games and things like that, I will focus on uh, setting everything to like these keys around here, uh, the delete key and things like that, to where I can go ahead and just move to those fairly quickly. Okay, we got two points to enchant. We do have somebody nearby it looks like. Okay. Beardness 3? What? What the heck is Beardness 3? I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, we're gonna die. There we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, son! Oh, did I? Oh, I got him and he killed me. Oh. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Alright, so you guys got to get a kill there and he killed me at the same time. Alright, well, uh, at least we got the kill. Uh, I went in for the kill at the same time as he shot his last arrow and I just couldn't close the space. He's pretty good at uh, doing that quick shooting, though. There's a lot of stuff there that they can get. Wow, he had, like, enchanted helmet, enchanted chest play, all kinds of stuff. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing like how I do my keys here and stuff. And um, yeah, that's about it for me. So I do use the mouse. You can see I, I sit here fairly decently. I'm comfortable. I just lay my hand here on the on the keyboard. It is kind of sideways, but I mean I'm used to doing this, so it's easier for me. And um, like I said before, I usually use like the delete key and uh, the page keys and different things like that. These number pad keys I tend to use often. And of course, you know, shift here is my crouch. Control here uh, for other things. Alt is there. It's just pretty easy for me. I, I tend to change a lot of keys around also, like my inventory key I use I. So it's kind of right here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so that's how I use all that, and uh, I, I figured I'd show a little bit of a clip on how I do that um, through a PvP games. I figured that's the easiest way to show you guys, and I'm trying not to look at this again, but I'm always doing that, I know. But a few things I wanted to talk about besides how I use my keyboard. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk about some changes that I did discuss in Saturday's live stream that I think I'm going to go ahead and implement. A lot of people seem to like my idea of change on something. And so from now on, if you are following me on Twitch, you will be able to see special live streams. We will be discontinuing the normal Wednesday live stream that starts at 5 o'clock and goes to 8 o'clock. Um, and replacing that with one hour streams that I'll do two to three out two to three times a week so we'll have special one hour streams where I'll just you know if, if I'm playing a game and I feel like streaming I'll go ahead and start streaming it may not always be where you guys can join me and that's gonna be something it'll it, it's gonna be more of just me playing a game you guys get to hang out and watch and uh, you know chill out with me we also may do uh, days where you know I just get a couple of my friends together and we're playing a game while you guys watch so it's not gonna be quite so interactive uh, some will be some won't be but for the most part they'll probably not be quite as interactive the Saturday stream will be staying the same it'll still be from five o'clock to ten o'clock um, so that'll be a nice chunk of time where you guys can sp still spend some time hanging out with me and playing some games with me like we do on uh, the Minecraft PvP and different things like that. 
Uh, and we'll still do like you know League of Legends and different games. I do have some new ones coming up that you guys have already heard about and some that you haven't. So that's going to be another thing that we figure out. Um, let's see. I also want to go over the fact that um, we've been slowly climbing up there for subscribers so far. Um, I didn't really do a special for it, but we also hit our 300th video recently. Um, that was pretty cool to me and here I'm actually going to check real quick to see how many we are at for videos and subscribers um, so as of right this minute when I'm shooting this vlog uh, I am currently sitting at 159 subscribers and I'm sitting at do 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 we have currently 300 and nine or 310 videos it looks like um, the count and my my creator my my studio thing for YouTube uh, says 310 but it's usually off by like maybe one or two so that's why I kind of say you know give or take a few um, of course tomorrow we're gonna have out coming out uh, prank wars we have another one for that and we're kind of wrapping up dead space I think we're getting toward the end I haven't really checked and seen how many chapters there are but I think we are closing up on the end of Dead Space. And of course we have B-Team all the time on Thursdays. Um, I am going to be possibly taking a poll of what you guys want to see next for um, our Friday episodes. And also, like I said, I'm going to start trying to get out some Wednesday and Saturday episodes. Um, once I kind of get caught back up, I've been kind of behind on things. And that's something else I wanted to share with you guys on why I've kind of been late on videos or been behind on videos. Um, and part of that reason, not the entire reason, but part of the reason is because my mom just had cataract surgery on both eyes. She had one eye done one week, and then two weeks later she had her other eye done. Surgeries went great. She was really nervous the first time. Second time, it was just like a breeze. So um, it was really something that, you know, we, we had never done anything where my mom had to go into surgery uh, and be put under anesthetics and things like that. So it was just a um, not even a local anesthetic, which means, you know, where they actually put you under all the way. This is just something that they described it as having a really good cocktail. So um, she got to have a cocktail and came out and kind of woozy a little bit. But for the most part, everything went fine. It only took just a few minutes to, to uh, get done, and it was there and done and back, and, and it, things went great. We were really happy. Um, she's been recuperating really well. She just got went to the doctor again today, which is why I'm a little bit late getting today's video up. I had to take her to the doctor. Um, and the doctor says she's pretty much back at 20-20 vision, which is really cool to hear. Um, before they could get all the way up to the big letter on the eye chart, and she could barely make it out. So she was really bad off on one of her eyes, and the other eye was trying to uh, make up and compensate for the how bad the other eye was so uh, but she's doing really really well on healing and progressing and the doctor says that pretty much the only thing she's ever going to need glasses for is reading so that's really cool um, and you know she's she's getting a lot better she has had some issues where she also had like uh, blood spots in the back of her eyes from diabetes and things like that and the doctor seems really optimistic that he can fix most everything um, with some, you know, diet plans and exercise and stuff like that to control her diabetes. He says things will be fine, and that's going to be really cool. So I'm looking forward to uh, keeping you guys updated on that. Also, um, just to kind of update you guys on, on me and Wish and, and things like that, things are going great with us. We've been trying to um, work out a few things to where we can start upgrading our own stuff. She has a nice computer now. I have a nice computer now. Um, and we're both really happy that, you know, we can not only be able to play on the same level, she used to lag a whole lot with Minecraft and things, um, but we're slowly starting to get some other games, and we're able to have a little bit more fun on, on the computers and things like that, and then we're also able to have some uh, time where we can go out and spend time together and things like that. I do want to know, and I want to ask you guys, do you, would you like to see, you know, like... I wouldn't say daily vlogs because I probably wouldn't do those, but would you like to see like when I go out and do stuff or do you just want me to shoot, you know, here at the house and keep you guys updated as to what we're doing? I I do plan on and that's something I want to touch on. Um 
the milkshake challenge and the uh, house tour. The house tour is nearly complete and it should be out within the next week or two. The milkshake challenge I'm finishing buying the last few things for. I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, I may also have a special guest or two with me, so um, be sure to look out for that. And I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to cover for you guys. Um, the support has been great through Patreon. I really uh, appreciate you know anything you guys can do. And people ask me all the time, um, you know, do we have to do so much money uh, to, you know. They want to know if if a dollar is is fine, and like I've said to you guys before, it's not the amount of money that you guys give. I understand that some of you can't even give money, and that's 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 fine. I I don't sit here and expect um, perfection or, or you know lots of money out of you guys. Just you guys tweeting out or or going through Facebook or whatever you guys use um, to to say you know I'm streaming or tell your friends about me through through YouTube and say hey I watch this guy go check him out he's got some good videos whatever um, you know just doing that helps me out so if you guys can't donate don't feel bad about it T turn around and I'll even tell you guys what if if you're sending out something through um, Twitter. Um, mark me in it, you know, and I will retweet it for you guys just to show that I appreciate your support. Um, I myself don't have a lot of followers, but if you tweet out a message, you know, telling somebody about either my videos, my YouTube channel, my, my, uh, live streams or anything like that, let me know and I will retweet it and, uh, give it a like and all that other stuff, whatever you do on Twitter. I'm still not used to Twitter, so <laughs> I'm getting the hang of things, guys. Bear with me. Um... I'm, I was still stuck back in Facebook whenever I first started this channel. So, and I know everybody says Facebook is the old thing now. Well, I I was back with MySpace a long time ago, and I know that's like obsolete. <laughs> so, um, but as far as that goes, guys, you know, any kind of support you guys show is really appreciated. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for all the the support and and kind words you guys have given. And I believe that's it. So I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like. It really does help me out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace out.